Hello, I am back today, and we will be continuing on the Archon quest Trapped in the Chasm, and hopefully unlock Yilan. And today was the release of the new event, which I already started, started and finished the first part of it so far. Then it should be open within the next nine to eight hours. And while that is occurring, it's time to go check out our place in the chasm. All the way back here. We were where we were stuck in a cave trying to get out, but we just mm, got um Xiao out of whatever predicament he had. And now he's with us, though injured. And then we'll talk to Ito and then we'll be continuing the story line. Once it loads. Cousin bed. It's like a giant portal rift that we're trapped in. What? I already talked to you guys. Oh well. Tightly shut and he's making sound no one heard interrupt him. You don't look well. I guess things still haven't improved. It's okay. You don't have to- <sighs> Sometimes I really end- Later. I'm just processing all the exist. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail. All right. Well, oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything. No, I meant if you're going to analyze. Behold! Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Do you think she's dreaming? Man, she looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. And that little dude looks done in too. Ah, I'm kind of worried about him. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I do slumber like a king. Traveler? When did you get here? Wait! Where are we? Yep, we better! Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tibet could end up so out of their depth? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly! 
instantly. Ah. Yeah, just like that. Ah, uh, Lushi, were you looking after Paimon? <sighs> Traveler, it looks like the Conqueror of Demons is awake. I'm fine. Don't worry. Karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. Well, I have Adept Eye blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. Even so. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? With a little help, I was able to find my way here. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before he joined us? No need to be so formal. Just call me Shell. Oh, sure. <sighs> it was a senseless battle. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, they weren't anything like how I expected. Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. Bosatius? Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? I thought that you were the only one left. Aren't the other four... gone from the world? You could say that. But Bosatius' body is the only one that was never found. Yakshas deal with God's remains all the time, and we become tainted by karma. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went, and I never heard from him again. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. He once told us, as Yakshas, we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other, and know each other's fate to the very end. Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? It's possible. But I did not. I am the sole survivor. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? That war lasted a long time. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. But no one knew the Yaksha's name. But there were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Wow. But... You must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain, and I didn't have any other clues except for this one. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. So at first, I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. <clears throat> Wait, so it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Did he injure you? Yes. No way! The invasion of monsters from Conria, the battle in the chasm, and Yelon's ancestor. I have a feeling that somehow, these are all connected. Life is full of coincidences, but this is too much of a coincidence. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? What will? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before, but both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. 
It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Whoa, whoa! You want to write a will? No. <sighs> it was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Pure deception is easy to spot, but the truth laced with lies can be a fatal combination. What you heard were really things that I said. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. How is this even possible? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Everyone, whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. Hmm. I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. But how do you know? You might become a shadow of your former self, wandering the underground like a lost soul. Hmm. Sounds like you saw them too. Galon, you're back. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. I've seen some strange things here, too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, then vanishing. I don't think any of it is real. So they're just illusions? At first I had the same thought. But it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. As Yenfei said, this space is chaotic and unstable. But it has its weaknesses. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself? I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. Wait a minute! When you said you were gonna get us out safely, you mean you're gonna stay here? You can't be serious. <sighs> I saw Bosatius underground. That's when I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. No. No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I'm on neither! It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind! It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth it! To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. What if I told you, this is my last will? <gasps> you? That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles, so I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. <laughs> You say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them. But if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, 
If you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Yelon, don't be so harsh. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. What if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, that's right, I heard ya. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, all right? Enough talk. It's time for action! <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only way. Come on, whatever you are! Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you! Uh, easy now. Have a taste of this! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 Whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <clears throat> but check it out, new path. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Seen this coming. He fell asleep, he's fine. Uh, why do you always have to do things like this? Shinobu. What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? <laughs> the boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. <clears throat> Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? <sighs> the thing with Boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki gang, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. <sighs> Today, he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. Mm. Another thing with Boss is, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself, because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Giant ego alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Xiao suggested? <sighs> so stupid. The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Ugh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. Uh, Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up, and he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. 
Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. Aww, Shinobu. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. <sighs> <sighs> Everyone, it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. What? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No, it's still worth exploring. I'll go and take a look first. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I'm with you. Uh, what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Oh, right! No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. I will find a way. Let him go. But if you're planning on going into that domain too, then come with me. After all, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll be safer if we team up. By the way, um, you and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelong got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. I have to say though, if Yelong hadn't spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. Also, Self-sacrifice is something Yelon feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before, and then was rescued herself. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. How can things ever be the same again, knowing that your life was saved when others weren't? In a way, salvation can also be a burden. If I were her... I'm not sure I would have done anything different. Oh, wait, one second. I'll be right there. Yeah! <sighs> right, that's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now, I've cast a spell to protect you guys. Thank you, Senpai. Please, be careful. We will. Same to you. All right, Traveler, let's go. Now, let's go explore the new area. Ooh, so cool. Ah, oh, okay, okay. 71. Okay, we'll be dealing with Fatui now. I mean, I'm fine with it, but it's, it's annoying. Specifically, those big brutes that use ice and water. The water one is a little easier, but the ice one gets annoying since I use Kokomi. So. Let's see how this one goes. Huh? Look at that huge disc in the distance. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? What? That's the best description you can come up with? It's way, way bigger than that! <sighs> Well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? <clears throat> I mean, come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. <gasps> what the? Are they? Are they treasure hoarders? They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Ah! 
Just like last time. You know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. Eh, happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is this space recreating scenes from my memory? Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. There's a smaller disc here. Judging from the appearance and design, hmm. In all likelihood, this is the Fantastic Compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? What's it for? Great. Huh? Huh? A new entrance. Great! I see, so this is the portal stuff. <laughs> and if I had to go through here... Whoa, is this a tunnel? Uh, this is weird. It feels like it's connecting to another world. Or maybe another time. Let's see. We're back to where we were. Okay. This is one seemingly hour later. And this is the... What you can consider like... In between times area. Or in between time. Creating type of rift. I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. The Fatui? Whose memory is this? Ah, watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. Newland's memory, I guess. Halon, you're here! I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Hey, relax. We're together now. Frozen. Crisp. <laughs> Motion to compel! This. <laughs> Bust it! <laughs> it's time for a flash freeze! Let's move! Now you're not going anywhere! <laughs> Incinerate! Take it easy. Ugh, feels clogged. Huh. Motion to compel. Chill to the bone. Let's uh. have a look at this.
Incinerate! I mustn't give up. But can I out of here? I will recall. See. And still they dare to come after me. <laughs> You've still got it. Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. Rotate the needles on the fantastic compass to different points to change the time in this area. Jump to different times. Your actions on a certain previous point in time may affect the next point in time you jump to. Ooh, we're dealing with some time traveling. Let's go back to... Seems this far too can't turn anymore. Huh. Stuck in the tree. Has touched the ground, it seems that it's as far as it can turn. I don't know about that. Oh! Another page. I need to read these pages. Um. So origin one, I asked Master uh, uh, Bo Young if I could borrow pen and paper to write home. But now that I have them, I have no clue what to write. You know what? I hope everyone come back home is doing fine and I miss my daughter. I'm writing this letter on behalf of Hulan. He hopes that his family is also well, if not for the this pass he would have wanted to go back to spend lantern right with him all oh. let's see Oh, 
Aha. Ähm. I didn't want to do that because of that, but I still ended up getting hit. Okay, so I need to now go back. Forward. This is before the tree grew. Oh, I guess I can do that part. Um, let's go. What? Needle has touched the ground as soon as that, as far as it can turn. while it's still seedling. The wind rises. Now that I'm back in the future, too slow. There's no rocks in the way here. Oh. But I do get this. <laughs> Behold. But this time I can go forward. Oh, that one's broken? Hmm. Time to check this out. The wind rises. Let's see how this goes. Another new space. If everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Losatius, I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no, we should go help him. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Looks like we'll be fighting as well. Filthy monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this uh. underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius's signature tactic. Die here with me! Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. This is not going well for Xiao! No matter. I know how this ends. <sighs> it would seem I cannot... Look! Losatius is showing signs of fatigue! Mm. Losatius! Marshal Vritris! Even your strength is finite! <sighs> Your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Leave! I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, like remember, we must on. hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Uh, I wanted to fight him. All I could do was do a void and... Oh well. Enough! Phantom! Be gone! Chow, are you okay? 
This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Osatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. Bosatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Guys, it could just be me, but... This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Bosatius stayed here underground. But now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. Time to move on. You fought well, Bosatius. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, if if you weren't so serious, that would be so so much like a pun. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. Number three. This is the tenth day or more that we've been separated from Boyang, the Yaksha, and the others. Well, that's what I say. Anyway, my friend here says that it's only been three days. I have no clue who's wrong or right or wrong, nor do I think that arguing serves any purpose at this point. I uh, we should I wish we could go home, but we cannot. Yeah, that's just sad. Any other thing that I might be able to read? How dare you? Um here you are. Hmm. Unless it resets every time we go through. Squall Fury! Ooh, it looks like it does. Yeah, it does. But we've dealt with the... Okay, okay, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Too slow. That's oddly convenient. Behold! Oh, hey spider.
Yes, I can. Yes. We're going to the start of this. The wind rises. Let's see how this goes. Our final destination would have to be that bottom right, since that would be the certain uh, the end of. Behold. Period. How's that tree grown? Either way, this is our new area. Looks like there's some information here. Shall we take a look? Okay, let's see. Oh, here's our fourth letter. Maybe? We have no idea how long it's been since we came out with our comrades on patrol, but according to the information we've garnered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We are victorious, and what a grand victory it is, save that we can never return home. Never again return home. Hulin's daughter will turn to this year, and King Ming's grandmother is getting long in the tooth. Okay. The two of them miss their family sorely, though I myself have no relations. No one does not wish to return home, but for those of us who are here, we are the only kin we have now. This place is very mysterious indeed. I do not know if it is because we miss home, or because this place was always like this, but when we're on patrol here, we can see sights that we could only see back home. I used to hear the old folks say that Li Wei has had hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains. But this doesn't look like any mine. Perhaps this might all be my imagination. What with missing my childhood home back, childhood at home back in the mine settlement. Wish I could go back there. Hmm. It looks oh. like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed built. here. So, who's this boy on they mentioned? Boyang was one of my ancestors, the one who didn't make it back. You mean Boyang fought alongside Bosatius? I believe so. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. Uh, so scary. What? Happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots, and then we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us? Okay, now with that, we can have access to everything. Just in case, I am checking if there's anything interactable. Clearly this area became a mining place. Squall and Fury! So... Now we have access- I mean... There are those, those three blackened out areas, but I don't think the story is really interesting doing that. Or it might take longer. Hopefully I didn't die. <laughs> There's nothing here at all. What a creepy space. It has the feel of the abyss. But where are the opponents? Hmm. This might be my situation. Yeah, this is my Your memory. Memory? Of what? Of emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. The abyss? So, 
This place is created purely based on your memory? That the abyss took my sister away. My twin away. Here we go. Purpose fine I can imagine better tomorrow with you. It's getting darker. To get a fence of I this and find the lost treasure. <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> it's it's my Lumine, sister. wait! Oh <gasps> voice. I talk. Oh no, it's fully In the other spaces, the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh, Sister. she was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? I can sense that she is not here. But at least we found this. <sighs> Yenfei, are you sure oh. this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... Hm. Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Ooh. Is it now in my inventory? Can I use it? <laughs> Can I use it to go back in time and see my sister? And stop her? Alright, here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. Now that I've found the fantastic compass, my work here is done. But if the bosatius we saw was just an illusion, will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? <sighs> bosatius was the leader of the five yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. He could control electro energy, unlike me. He was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. <sighs> oh. He definitely misses him and all the other Yaksha. Within Yin and Yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground, open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. I hope that's not the riddle name, is it? Unless it is. I'm ready to go. I don't think there's anything else for me to really explore besides those pages, which I already got, and then that common chest, which I already got. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. My name is Byong. Here I leave the record of all I know for future generations to see and learn from my experience. My comrades and myself were ordered by the Chising to take the fantastic compass to the chasm and assist our Melolith companions. But the beasts in this place were incredibly terrifying and our forces suffered terrible losses. If not for the aid of the Yaksha, I fear that my brother and I might have been slain right there and then. This Yaksha has four hands and behaves in imagined 
fashion, even being unable to remember his own name. When in a crazed state, he refers to others around him as Al Alatus in M Managius. He has mastered over the thunder, and his form is awe-inspiring, one that is dis destined to be remembered throughout history. We followed him into battle against the wicked beast for ten odd days, finally breaking out. A snake has its weakness seven inches below the head, and these monsters naturally have their weaknesses as well. Having discovered this, the Yaksha has decided on a battle plan to target that weakness. In our previous battle, the surface of the chasm was damaged, revealing a great and um, enigmatic underground palace in the bowels of the earth. We observed that the monsters would grow weak when approaching this domain, and we guessed that there is some power there that greatly suppressed these beasts of Conria. We have suffered too many losses. You must end this quickly. Rangzo and I agreed that I would take the fantastic compass and lead a group of Melilith to follow the Yaksha down into the underground palace. We will lure the beasts away and herd them into the depths of the palace. The seat must be completed by myself and the Yaksha within the palace, with Rangzo aiding us from the outside. That way, we can ensure that the seal will hold. If this works, the chasm front will be secured. However, this means that I, the Yaksha, and the Millith with us will be left behind within the underground palace. Yet, the benefits are too great. We have to try this one. Try this out. The warriors have observed day and night, and have confirmed that the beasts are heavily limited once they enter the underground palace, almost as if some power is eating away at them. Some of our wounded have sacrificed themselves, and others have split off from the main party to their own confusion, never to return. Will the monsters really be vanquished in this way? The unmatched uh, strangeness of the underground palace is something I fear only I and the Yaksha will live to witness. I do not know how much time has passed. The Yaksha is gravely wounded and maddened. I fear he will not live long. As for me, though I remain clear-minded, I can feel few moods setting in. I do not know how long I have been here. The Yaksha urges me to depart, forgetting that staying here was the fate we chose. The underground palace is almost like a living being. When a breach first appeared in the ground, we leaped down below and gave battle. But even then, I noticed that the breach was quickly closing. I'm not sure if that was the only tactic we could have chosen. And even when we attacked the rifts, the rent open spaces slowly regenerated. Regenerate. Well, they only re regenerate slowly sometimes. Other times, they can be swift. It is hard to say. Does this mean that we can damage the ground in the fighting? We damage the outer shell of the space? Have we accidentally entered the belly of some mighty leviathan only to slowly devour be slowly devoured by it? I believe that this should be the end of these wicked beasts. We have outlasted them all. I have tried many paths. There is no way out. The Yaksha has fallen. Only I remain. I see my family, my wife, my children. They approach me, and then they pass through. I must be going mad. How could I be seeing my family who are in Leeway Harbor. I wish I could go back home, but how can I? Rungzo, sometimes I curse the fact that it was not you who had to undergo this torture, but Rungzo, as your elder brother, I'm glad you survived. So tired, I can't think straight. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. All this information... it was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the Fantastic Compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm, and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. Correct. 
One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyong ended up staying here for good, too. <sighs> well, this is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? Are we gonna die here? Don't worry. Hi, Mon. <laughs> what was that? Huh? I got it. I just had a thought. Give me a second. I just need to double check. I love her book. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Traveler, <laughs> I just realized something. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time, but I didn't give any thought to the book that the will is inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and Adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and Adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. I have both Adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. It worked! I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough, but still, we must be on the right track. And look! Something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top together. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. Hold on. That huge crystal I saw on the bottom of the chasm? I remember when the catalyst hit the ruined serpent. There seemed to be an opposing force. Was it that opposing force that delayed the awakening of the space that has now swallowed us? Or did the impact weaken the entrance on the ground? Also, we haven't seen any abyss monsters in here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. Mm. I have a suggestion to make. You're right, there's no abyss uh, monsters Paimon here. I can barely move anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Shinobu, Ito, we're back. He must be exhausted, because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? It's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? Um... We found the Fantastic Compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever too. <sighs> Shoot! 
this isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the fantastic compass be fully activated. I'm a mix of human and adeptus, so the fact that the fantastic compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full adeptus and a human with training in the magic arts. Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. So, an Adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? Yes, if my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate it. Maybe even reverse it. Last time, it was used to seal the intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it... Then we're home free. Awesome! So there's still hope? You bet. <sighs> Your idea seems reasonable. Okay, well let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. Oh boy, Paimon's so nervous! Yelon, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. I'm ready. Oh, but Yenfei, there's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Hmm? Huh? I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the Fantastic Compass out of here. From what I can tell, everything within this domain is the result of disordered space-time and memories. We all came here for different purposes, and everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. This space... well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know, but... The whole time... It's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? Oh, that. Yeah, I was there too. Huh? Wait a second. It was you that shot that arrow? Who else did you think it was? That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization, and crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was... some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? <sighs> if so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. No, no! You're just trying to help us and solve the problem! You're definitely not to blame for what happened. <laughs> if you say so. You could almost liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. Additionally, most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the Fantastic Compass will likely disappear. That's actually what I think, too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the Fantastic Compass to begin with. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. This is a long shot, but it may be our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment to your search. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. But if they were here, I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. I gotta say, it does intrigue me, the way we all ended up here together. If this is fate, then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. Traveler, take care of Paimon. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time comes. Sure. 
Stars align, bestow your light, evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, Numa surge, by dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yakshas, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in! This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. <laughs> His boy is gonna save him. Or Zia no, Zong is really <laughs> is likely gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Zong Li. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy!
That was close. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. That was terrifying. <sighs> I know what you were thinking, but... Never mind. I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, thank you, for saving us all. Mm. No, I could not have done this on my strength alone. Don't mention it. it. Looks like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Rest up. There's no hurry to move on from here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. <sighs> Maybe Aelon really doesn't believe she made a contribution. It seems like she's convinced Zhao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything, maybe Aelon's just given up trying to talk to him. Xiao, she's criticizing you! I am not! You speak only the truth. I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. Really? Well, that's great. I count that as quite an achievement. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground, and it took every single one of us for any of us to make it out alive. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Hey, so... Bullchecker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay asleep forever, is he? Let's go check on him. Hmm. <sighs> ah, slept like a rock. Ugh, good times. Huh? Whoa, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you in any pain? Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? You need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You weren't that bright to begin with, so if we add brain damage to the equation... Oh, brother. What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine! I had an epic power nap, and now I feel like a million mora. Huh. I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Uh... Oh, yeah! Wait, weren't we underground? How did we get back up here? It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies, and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. Ah, crazy talk! You helped us first! Of course we're gonna return the favor. Hey, if it weren't for you, we'd still be in a Liyue jail cell right now. That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, not me. Mm. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> well, okay then. How about this? To celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Lira Harbor for some sightseeing and a proper meal? I like the sound of that. Now that you mention it, whew, I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight over? Paimon too! Paimon wants to come too! Huh? Ugh, fine! Alright, well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was... a lot. <laughs> oh, wait! Yaelon left already. I was gonna treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. <laughs> hmm? Oh! Yeah? Is that right? Wow. Okay. I'll let him know. Traveler, Flying Lavender Melon, Ushi has a couple words he'd like you to pass on for him. What? Oh, I want to hear this. Me too. Count me in. Good idea! Let's do that! Paimon never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never judge a bull by its cover, huh? Oh. <sighs> it's 
Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. You betcha! Just leave it to us! All right, Ito, Shinobu, Ushi, let's go. Oh, yeah! Grub time! See you next time. <sighs> Finished taking care of business? Oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. <laughs> You're still here. I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Aren't you going with them? We still had some stuff we wanted to say to Xiao. Hmm, I figured as much. I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. For their own sakes. Uh, we got it, we got it! We'll make sure they don't say anything! Please don't hurt them. Oh. You figured me out, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll quit pulling your leg. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Where could that strange space have come from? And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Also, I think someone helped us out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, but... Somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. <sighs> anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow-up work to do and reports to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. Bye, Yeon! You knew I was waiting for you? Really? <clears throat> There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Ooh. Let's see where that is. Oh! This place. Okay. The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean, back when we were underground? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. He could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. Hmm. So maybe... These thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that. Oh yeah, Ushi wanted us to tell you. It's very important. Hmm? Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So... He hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a Yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Yep, like people with visions. They have more resistance against your power, right? 
and and well anyway there's lots of people out there who really care about you <sighs> suddenly you sound a lot like bosatius and the others they used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace i think i was the only one who didn't think that way the bosatius recorded in the fantastic compass had lost his sanity he addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. The others are Bonanus, or General Chisapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of them. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, it took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Hyman still thinks you were amazing. Yenfei and Yelon are correct. I always prepare for the worst-case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. In the end, I still had to burden another. But that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhang Li... Uh... Rex Lapis for such a long time, and you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. It's good that one more person will remember him. Nogius, where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal... Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously. <sighs> of course, I want to go home. I must have family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters? Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... My... I remember now. I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, Boy Young. You're, you're awake? At least. At least tell me your name! Brother! Brother Bosatius! <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I. I am Bosatius. And my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. I've said so much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life, the approach of death, Whatever it might have been, by now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. Xiao... It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanis. Monogius and Indarius all perished, and only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us. And Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanis said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers. Heroes. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Oh, yeah. Act two, baby. Oh. Xiao says nothing more. Complex emotions run across his face as he looks at the temple. Uh, to Pervasius. Sadness, disappointment, relief, they all are there. They are all there, yet are only a small part of a far larger whole. His expression is akin to that of a person who has been out in the blizzard for too long and has seen too far too much for it being before it finally gained a place to reside from the battering snow. Now I can finally do humans. All is left is Sumeru's continued story. Um, 
But story quest. Mm. Let's see. I'm not gonna do this rink thing yet since I don't have the materials necessary for when everything levels up. Uh, let's do a chasm event since we just did some chasm stuff anyway. right there. Okay. This might end up having me read uh, my voice. then the wind rises oh Switch to the luminous. Oh. No one's here. Emergency announcement from the secretary of Yujing Terrace. The lagging and destructive incident recently occurred at the Jade Chamber has proved proved that the Fatui are dangerous and untrustworthy. The collaboration agreement with Shiznai has been nullified. The Liyue Qixing will take over the exploration of the chasm. The Milith shall not make contact with any member of the Fatui. Violation of this rule will result in immediate arrest without clemency. There's no oh. Rest and rebuild. Here you are. Swan fury. Should replace my hammer. Okay. Let's see this note. Dear Anton Melanivik Melanikov, I'm sorry that due to the sudden turn of events, the supply station has been shut down. Our previous plan to drink five to drink fire water together upon your return seems impossible now. I left some food here in secret. It should be enough in the short run. Take as much as possible. Take as much as ne you need. Sorry, as your friend, I can't do much more than this. The next time we meet, we shall be enemies. Although I am un 
aware that you and your mission have nothing to do with what happened on the ground. Please understand that we can never forgive such a blatant act of invasion. Just as a fight for the... Um, Saritza of Shiznaya. As one of the Melith, I must protect our homeland. We each have our responsibilities to shoulder for what we cherish. Best of luck to you. You're sincerely, Yanbu. Give it to the platoon. Okay. Into the waterways. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> we should uh I guess next time I stream we'll go over the um underground story with the mushroom. to these Fatui fellers. Why, oh, hello, fellers. You're back, how is it? Any news from the station? It's been abandoned. Is that so? Then, did you find anything? You're no longer welcome in Leeway Harbor, I fear. Other than this, do you have any other news? Uh, here's a letter we found. It seems it's for you. Here you go. Fatui soldiers read the letter. Ah, uh, it's from Yanbu. I got it. What happened? The mills are gone too? Let me read it. <sighs> What's with them? We're fighting for them, aren't we allies? There are no allies anymore. No more collaboration to to be precise. The Fatui are no longer in collaboration collaborative relationship with Liwei. This is betrayal. The people of Liwei have betrayed us. Maybe it's the other way around in their eyes. Perhaps they think that we, the Fatui, have betrayed them. This can't be. We came here to protect the people of Liwei. Don't you remember what the captain said before our departure? This expedition has nothing to do with conspiracies or schemes. But that can't- that couldn't prevent conspiracies and schemes from coming to us, could it? This isn't something we have control over, doubt- Denalia. Danila. Danila? Denala? Okay, I see. I've decided. We need to retreat the quicker the better. It's alright. I'll take full responsibility. If there's any deserter amongst us, if any deserter shall bring dishonor to the ninth company, that's me and only me. Danila is right. We are here to protect the people of Leeway from the calamity of darkness. We can't leave like this. Do you think this is the right time to worry about your personal honor, Mikura? Murka? Can't you see it? Can't you see that the people of Liwei neither need our help, need our protection, nor even want us here? They even defeated our comrades who thought of themselves as heroes. We should retreat and Preferably in silence, without alerting the local Melith. The captain said that we should be ready to give our lives here. We shouldn't. He also said that we, that he wouldn't let us die in vain. Then he didn't want the whole company to be buried here. At least we're still alive. At least not all of the ninth company are gone. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, any more questions? I don't want to hear any objections. You're all now dismissed. Whatever the case, Mashino. 
Thank you for helping out. Take this more on these supplies. Ooh. Huh. I didn't think I was that far from completing the quest. I'm gonna take some of your stuff here. And a little more in around here, if there is any. Uh, I think that's it. Let's just see if they have any more dialogue. Thank you for your for your food. If you have any questions, ask staff Sergeant Anton. I have nothing to tell you. Uh, please don't misunderstand. I mean, when it comes to classified information, you know. Um. Anyway, I hope you can. We can meet again as friends. Yes, sir. We'll leave soon. My apologies if we disturbed your adventure. That was a long time ago. Shortly after this place was locked down, we contacted the Liu Chi Sing. At first, things went smoothly. Signora even nailed a few mutually beneficial. A few mutually beneficial trade agreements, and one of the additional tr conditions was that Liyue would allow the Fatui to send an advanced team into the chasm. We came to investigate and eradicate the source of the anomalies. As agreed, Chisnaya and Liyue would share whatever we were to find down here. At least none that I'm aware of. When we entered the chasm, the local citizens even sent us their best wishes. We although that we would be hero would thought we would be heroes, sacrificing ourselves for the sake of others. <sighs> Who'd have thought things would turn out like this? Mm. Ten more. Ha! Look who's here! A great benefactor. Next time we meet in the wild, don't draw your sword too quickly. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope we won't be enemies next time we meet. Oops. Thank you for your help. Sorry for that there's nothing I can give you in return. This is the first time that Antona has acted as our company CEO. <laughs> Perhaps the last time too, but as long as he gets us out of here, I'll consider him to be a worthy, worthy CEO. Anyway, I wish you a successful journey. Well, that's everybody. Too bad that I wouldn't be able to meet you again. Maybe in Shiznaya, but I don't know how that would go. Oh. Huh. I knew that was a suspicious corner. <laughs> this says <sus> corner. <laughs> Behold. Let's see. Let's feed all the opponents. Hold the line. <laughs> <laughs> the wind rises. <laughs> oh, there's one more person. Uh... You're in for a little shock. Behold! Where are you? You dare to gaze upon me? Allow me! Here you are. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna defeat that. I didn't realize there was three. Oh well. I'll just wait until my characters are strong enough to defeat them a lot faster. I mean, that was pretty fast, but just not fast enough, considering the amount of time I'm getting. out with a claymore character such as we're going to hunt my boy razor <laughs> I do like the fact that in the mind um, ooh, I got three on that one. That there's a bunch of ore that I can get. There are still these walls. Um, let's change back. I'll probably come by here on my own time to just mine stuff. Oops. There's still a long road ahead. As How long will this require exactly? Reaction, I usually end up uh, <laughs> pressing the button. There we go. Shouldn't come back now. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of stuff for me to do down here. Nope. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, with uh, the fact that we finished that main Archon quest, next time I stream, we will do the chasm with the giant mushroom part. Um, do that quest. And finish some chasm stuff. And then after that, I'll continue with the main Archon quest for the time being after that. And by next time, I may or may not have uh, upgraded everybody since I've been grinding uh, the Leowant the ley lines to get the uh what these are called uh what are these called hero wit adventures experience wanderers advice huh but yes i'll be using this because i got lout and I'm probably gonna go work on getting some more as well. Yes. Very useful. Besides trying to go find materials. So I will ta 
take it at night, so have a good night.